All right, now using QuickShare is the best way to transfer files between the Samsung Galaxy phones, Galaxy tablets, and Samsung laptops. We can transfer any kind of files in a Jiffy through this QuickShare application built in to all these devices. And when it comes to QuickShare on laptops, it is exclusively available for Samsung laptops running on Windows. And that was a bummer because if you have any other Windows PC or let's say laptops, the best option we have is a nearby share feature. And we have been waiting for the QuickShare to arrive on non-Samsung laptops as well. And finally, Microsoft and Samsung have made it available for the non-Samsung PCs as well. That is quite exciting. Now we can install QuickShare application on Windows PCs running on Windows 10 or Windows 11. In this video, let's take a look at how exactly this feature works. Now, as you can see, this is the HP NV laptop that I have here. All I need to do is just search for QuickShare on the Microsoft Store. As you can see, the app is right here. And in the description, it says, use QuickShare to quickly and easily share various kinds of content, including photos, videos, and documents with others. The support specifications are mentioned below here. The operating system has to be Windows 10 or higher. Bluetooth driver, Intel 22.50.02 version or higher. Wi-Fi driver, Intel 22.50.07 version or higher. Now this laptop that I have here already running on Windows 11 with the latest drivers. Below this we have supported devices, Samsung Galaxy Book including Qualcomm based PCs released in 2020 or later, Windows PC with Intel Bluetooth Wi-Fi released by other manufacturers. Which means your laptop should have Intel Bluetooth and Wi-Fi only. If it is from any other manufacturer, you will not be able to use QuickShare. So this laptop that I have here is running on Windows 11 and this has the latest Bluetooth driver and Wi-Fi drivers from Intel. So I'm able to use QuickShare on this laptop. Just make sure your laptop meets these criteria. Now uh, let's open the application. As you can see, we have this QuickShare window here. On the top, it says who can see you to send you files. You can select anyone nearby, no one or contacts only. This works something similar to the phone's QuickShare feature. Once you set that up, you can start sending files right from here. As you can see, it is showing me the nearby devices. I got the Galaxy S23 Ultra here. I can select the phone. It directly takes me to the folders available on the PC. I can select anything I want from here and send it. Let's say for example, I got the screenshot here. I'll just open this. On the phone, I will get this quick share notification. All I need to do is just accept it and it quickly gets transferred onto the phone. Now let me open a video here on the phone. As you can see, this is about a 230 MB file. I will share and I'll tap on quick share. Here under share to nearby Galaxy devices, it shows me the laptop. Though the laptop is not a Galaxy device, it still shows me the HP laptop right here. I'll just select this and I get a notification on the screen here on the laptop. I can decline, save or save and open. I will just tap on save. As you can see, it's preparing now. For some reason, it takes a few seconds to prepare. And the moment it starts sending, it sends the file very, very quickly. As you can see, this 200 MB file has been transferred so quickly. Now let's do a quick test. Let's see how long it's going to take to transfer a 5 GB file from the phone to the PC. I got a video clip here, which is almost 5 GB, uh, precisely it's 4.89 GB. Let's tap on share and send this file onto the PC. I'll turn on the stopwatch and hit transfer. Let's see how long it's going to take. it is done. Now for the 5 GB file, it is pretty quick, I would say. Now if you remember, I did post a video about nearby share and the airdrop feature on Apple. In that video, I did make a comparison and test the transfer speed between the nearby share and airdrop. If you missed that video, you can go ahead and check that out. Now nearby share was the option all this while for the Windows PCs and now we have got quick share. If you use a Samsung Galaxy phone, you will be able to use the quick share feature to transfer files between the Galaxy devices and any PC that you you have provided the PC meets all the criteria. If you have a non Samsung phone, you only have one option that is nearby share or through Bluetooth, which is going to take days together to transfer big files. But yeah, the nearby share works pretty seamlessly between Windows PCs and Android phones. I would suggest you to check out the video that I posted about the nearby share and the airdrop. I will leave a link for that video in the description. Now coming back to this interface on a quick share on the laptop, let me tap on this three dot button and tap on settings. As you can see, we have got Samsung account sign in option. We can edit the computer name. We can change the download folder. And we also have the theme options here, light theme, dark theme, or use system settings. 
Then we have got run in the background on startup. Then we have got this option to open QuickShare in the background when Windows starts so you can receive file. The QuickShare version is 1.4.4.0 and then we have got one UI version 5. So this may work only on one UI version 5 and above. Let me know what do you think? Are you excited to use this feature? And if you have already started using it, let me know your experience in the comment section below. And also let me know whether you prefer nearby share or quick share for transferring files between your phone and the PC. Drop a comment and when you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.